Hey YouTube, figured I'd make up a little video here. I'm gonna call this Nirvana Tobacco, Nirvana Smoke, whatever you want to call it, something like that. Have you ever had a tobacco that uh, really, how do I want to say it? It's a Nirvana tobacco. <laughs> it just it's a tobacco that that uh, you can keep going back to time after time after time and it never gets old um, I do, oh I should do housekeeping before I get into this too far this is an old uh, custom-built scoop uh, I don't know how old it is for sure it's an oldie polished top on it, rusticated like all the old custom builds are. But the tobacco I'm talking about is McClellan's Grand Oriental Series. And what I'm smoking right now is Black Sea Sulcum. But there's actually, I believe there's eight of them. Uh, what the heck is it? There's Black Sea Sulcum, there's Classic Samson, Enigy Highlander, Caterini Classic, And you, can try, you can go in there and look at them. Their Pipes and Cigar has all of them listed in there. You can go on to the McClellan's website. They're all listed in there, too. Um, it's a tobacco that I've smoked for a long time, the whole series. And for the most part, pretty much all of them I like. Uh, some of them better than others. I really like this Black Sea Sulcum and the Caterini Classic. And, and There's several of them that I like, anyway. Drama Reserve... Um, the Energy Highlander is pretty good. Anyway, um, they're, they're tobaccos that you can just go back to time after time after time. Um, I especially like these more in the winter time. Um, I'll open up two or three tins and, uh, I can. I've, I've spent the whole day today, pretty much, watching videos and smoking these. I've got three tins open right now. I've got the Caterini Classic, the Black, Black Sea Sulcum, and, and uh, oh, it's a mild Turkish one. I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, and going through some of my older pipes that I don't smoke very often. Uh, these little custom built scoops. This is one of the tobaccos that actually smokes really well in here. Uh, most of these are tobaccos that are kind of on the, the sweet side. They're basically a Virginia with Oriental leaf added to them. They're a really top-end tobacco. Um, <laughs> you know, <coughs> excuse me, can you tell I've been smoking all day? <laughs> When, when you get into these things, you, it just, your brain kind of kicks into neutral. Um, that's the one thing I got, <laughs> that word. <laughs> when I'm sitting here thinking and trying to talk, that word comes up far too often. But anyway, uh, they're a tobacco that you can just, I, I can enjoy them all day long. I normally don't sit and smoke that many pipes. Um, I normally don't have the time to do it, but uh, today I took the time to do it. I uh, I haven't smoked these all summer long. Like I said, they seem to be more of a winter smoke to me. Um, but does anybody else have a, a group of tobaccos or uh, any one particular tobacco that just is absolutely their Nirvana tobacco? Um, It'd be interesting to see if anybody else has anything like that. I'd be I'd be interested to hear if anybody else has their. Um, if anybody wants to make a link to this, and uh, we can just kind of post up and compare each other's notes. Um, I know that I I love these tobaccos, and there's got to be other ones out there that other people like. I mean. 
I, I have a tendency towards the, the sweeter tobaccos. I started out smoking, uh, I think like a lot of people do, I started out smoking aromatics and if you want, well, to my opinion anyway, <laughs> this is for just my opinion, uh, me and, and uh, Burley's, which is what most of your, your uh, or a good percentage of your um, flavored tobaccos, your, well, I shouldn't say flavored because there's a lot of them out there that, that that's really not an aromatic. I'd, there's a lot of flavored tobaccos that aren't really what I'd call an aromatic tobacco. But a lot of your, your American style aromatics are pretty much all Burley type tobaccos. And me and Burley, to any extent, don't get along very well. It, it gives me tongue bites so bad. Uh, I know some people have the same problem with Virginia. It all depends upon what the pH in your mouth is as to which type of tobacco you get along with. But these, I, I can sit and smoke these things all day long and I just love them. So, if anybody else wants to link to this <laughs> just so we can kind of all compare notes just for just for the giggles of it I guess I don't know it, it'd be kind of fun to compare each other's notes what we enjoy but what 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 is your your if you found it what is your Nirvana tobacco <laughs> if anybody wants to you can if you don't want to whatever um, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm not putting a contest or anything together. I'd just be interested in seeing what other people's responses are to it. Or if you just want to make a... You don't got a link to this video. I mean, it just make a response on your own channel. Um, but it's kind of like if you make a... Re if, you, if you link it to this one, at least then we can have them all... All the responses in one place. So it'd be kind of, you know... Just a kick to see what everybody's response is to it. For whatever it's worth. If anybody wants to, do it. If you don't want to, whatever. <laughs> I just was sitting here smoking this and enjoying it so much I'd kind of like to hear what some other people's Nirvana tobacco is so we'll see you later guys have fun enjoy life take it easy